Hello everyone, I'm Lazy Grouse, and today we're trying out the Great Houses of Caldaria. And it's a grand strategy game made by Resistance Games, and it's set in its own unique world, although it is inspired by medieval and renaissance Europe, so I don't think there's any fancy elements, but I'm not entirely sure either. And from what I've seen, it looks like a mix of Crusader Kings and a board game, but I haven't actually played it at all. So we're gonna go in completely blind. I've just seen a couple of screenshots and a trailer, but it seems right up my alley, so we're just gonna jump in and try it out. And the story so far. Caldaria was once known as a paradise. However, the rulers of old grew hungry for power and knowledge, and devastation followed. The exact reason for the downfall are long forgotten, and for centuries Caldaria was taboo and never to be visited again. When the new emperor learned of the land, he disregarded the warnings of his council and granted a mandate for any noble house to claim parts of the land in his name. He appointed a viceroy to rule Caldaria on his behalf. However, just two generations after reconciliation, bickering has arisen. Rumors are spreading that the Viceroy himself has succumbed to the same old megalomania that afflicted the rulers of old. So I guess there's just gonna be a land grab and uh, some aggressive uh, expansion, I assume. And uh, I guess we're just gonna be... Oh, come on. Click to it. There we go. We are gonna be House Grouse. And it even rhymes, so perfect. Oh, that was incredibly loud. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. But we have to pick a tradition. As the etiquette of feudalism dictates, each house has the different ideals to follow and traditions to value. Every family stands for something. From the beginning, we made sure that we were known as peacemakers. Fast population growth is usually really good in these kinds of games. Easier to maintain happiness uh, could be pretty good too. Family members are stronger in battle is great if, uh, if this were Prince of Darkness and Crusader Kings, but we'll see how powerful that is. Uh, more safety, schemes for better spies is al always fun, and cheaper upgrades. So I guess that's some kind of tech tree or something. Um, maybe we just go for the happiness? Just make a happy land and uh, everything will be a little bit easier to maintain, I think. So we're gonna be idealists. Man, that is so loud every time. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is our family, and I suppose this is us. And we are, we are tr really, tr oh, you can re -row. Uh We are really trusting, stubborn, and yeah, gullible and benevolent. Okay, but I think we're gonna re -row. Get someone good here. Do the old, CRPG stat rolling. And let's go with... Uh... Okay, so after re-rolling for a bit, I think I'm pretty happy with this guy. He's got pretty alright stats, at least from what I understand. They seem to go between 0 and 20, so pretty medium on most of it, except for diplomacy, which seems pretty important if we're gonna be peacemakers. Not the highest intrigue, but that's alright. I mostly like him for his traits, because we're stubborn, modest and gullible, but most importantly, we got pretty legs, so I just thought that sounded perfect. And just because we're peacemakers doesn't mean we're not gonna fight any wars, so a couple of our guys are pretty decent at military, so we'll be able to do most things with this. Although, we gotta remember not to send this guy on any diplomatic stuff. So yeah, I think I'm happy with this, although he's an excellent spy. I just noticed that. But we're gonna continue on with that. And we are gonna make our own little crest here. Oh, actually. Gonna go with a bird. On a... Background like that. Main color. I think that looks pretty cool. Looks very... Militaristic, but I like it. When our house embarked on the journey to Caldera, we... Oh, where did we settle? Flatlands, hillside, mountain range, or steppe. So that's gonna give us horses and gold, materials and metal ore, grapes and livestock. That sounds pretty good. Making like northern Italy. Or crops and population. Well, I feel like some of these would be pretty good. Because usually if, if we grow a lot and have a lot of food and stuff like that, you just... Everything else gets better because you have more stuff to work on other stuff. So let's go, let's go with the hillside, get some grapes and livestock. That seems pretty good. And we are gonna live in, oh, there's a lot to consider here. Okay, um. 
I guess we want to start with a lot of workers and a lot of crops. Oh, and there's also a different amount of buildings built. Well, Akante seems really good. A lot of buildings, lots of crops, and just lots of other stuff. Not a lot of horses, but other stuff is pretty good as well. Not a lot of materials and metal ore. And not a lot of buildings. I think I like Akante. Although that is also really good. Extra workers, more buildings. But I th feel like Akante was pretty balanced. Lots of buildings, lots of workers, and good bonuses. Let's go with that. And yes, please, I would love, it, uh, love a tutorial. The members of your house is these guys. And we didn't get to see some of these when we were rolling, but that's all right. Uh, your fiefdom is our home. That makes sense. This is our liege. So we are, I guess, some baron. That is fine. And that is our duke. And that is the Viceroy who rules over everything, I suppose. So we are four levels down on the chain, which uh, I guess is the goal to take over, I suppose. Return to your own fiefdom by clicking there. Next on the map, click on your fiefdom and view. The population of your fiefdom is shown here. First number of your current population, second number of your max population cap. Okay, so we can only have 10 population. Huh. Population increase when the green bars fills. So can you increase... Oh, there's got to be buildings, like hovels and whatever. So we can probably increase that as well. Your population amount, amount translates to workers. It's wise to make sure that you have enough crops. Click on the farmer's profession. Each worker assigned to a professional increased productivity. Okay. So right now we are in a deficit, which isn't great. We're consuming more than we're making. That makes sense. So just drag and drop, I guess. We're gonna need wine, yeah? So let's take one from the masons. Still gonna need some more. Well, we're gonna need... I guess if we only have one winemaker, we might only need one vineyard for now. So let's do it like that. We are still shrinking in population that's not great but that seems good your population grows according to your happiness of your worker all right oh we can pop people in here to get their stats and i guess they want us to do us okay oh that fixes our growth as well that is excellent the amount of all your resources are here. That makes sense. Back to map. All right. Oh, we can f <laughs> we can pay them with wine. <laughs> uh, you must pay your workers for their labor. Each professional has three tiers of wa wages. Choose from. Provided you can uh, produce the resources needed. So, I guess since we are making wine, we can just pay them in wine. That's gonna save us some crops, which is probably gonna increase our food well it is gonna increase our food but should also increase our our growth yeah maybe well let's uh, let's start with that and I guess we should put people in all of these well we don't have any people there but oh no oh. so vineyard so diplomacy is happiness economy is uh, it's austerity, which I don't know what it means. Oh, it makes us cheaper wages. Okay, safety. Oh, catching foreign spies. Okay. And production, which makes sense. So I guess we want military and diplomacy here. So not you, you're gonna be a spy. Oh. Actually, we're pretty good at that, so... Let's put you in the vineyard that's gonna be oh we're still we're still losing grapes though so maybe we do like that for a little bit make sure our but our materials is going down okay this is uh, we're gonna have to balance this but since we got some boost there we are gonna need to keep that on top though so 
Let's do this for a while. We can turn that off and turn on miners if we need to. Because we don't seem to be using the metal ores, so that's fine. And I guess you're pretty good. Let's put you in the mason. Very mediocre. You can be a crafter and uh, you can be a winemaker and we'll use you as a spy. But yeah, we are losing wine per day even though we're making wine. But that's all right. We can uh, turn the oh, we can turn this to uh, just pay in food when we need to. So we've assigned an overseer. Official visit. Good diplom diplomatic relations are important. Send an official to visit your overlord. Okay. So official visit. Oh, we can't send anyone. We have to go ourselves. Huh. Okay. That is annoying. Good thing we have good diplomacy. And uh, he doesn't even show his face. How rude. Okay, so we can speed up if we need to. But I, does you... No, you do not stay overseer when you're away. So I guess we'll just uh, put you in charge of that for a while. You are absolutely terrible. Oh, you're actually making people sadder so you're you're doing thing making things work or worse <laughs> man you are really worthless I wonder if I can send you on a spy mission then intrigue uh, intrigue plays a large part in politics of Caldaria there are three things you need to note about intrigue a shady business can be formed for what you need spies for. Intrigue level will be used as attack value in those previous previously in mentioned actions. Your family members in other courts, along with spies, can increase this. Safety is the defense value against intrigue actions. Yeah, that all makes perfect sense. So, let's uh, send our... Oh, we recruit spies. Oh, I guess you recruit spies. And I guess you like us, kinda. So we can recruit you as a spy. You're not... Well, you're above average intrigue, so... Let's see if we can uh, have you recruit you. And who are you? Why can't I use you for... Oh, because you're nine. I guess you wouldn't make a good overseer. Well, let's... Uh, move one of these around then put you there. You're making grapes. We're still positive. And are you not using grapes? Oh. Well, either way, let's unpause and let things happen. And see what happens when we... Oh, three candidates. Most interactions between other families are presented with events. Skills of the characters have often the greatest impact of the possible outcome. Yeah, 18 to 12 is average and 18... or <laughs> 10 to 12 is average and 18 is superb. That makes perfect sense. That's about what I thought. Uh, personal relations and houses relations can often hinder or help your cause. Hmm, I guess you do not like her. Oh, is she, Because she's ugly? <laughs> that is... Uh, that's mean. You may choose what your family members try to achieve, but their characteristics determine how well they succeed. So, okay. Comparing intrigue, we should probably win that. Yeah, they're, they're all compare intrigue. Okay. So, uh, Nestore Grouse has found three spy candidates in Gavanka. According to his sources, all of them have expressed dissatisfaction with House Trenkar. The candidates are the kitchen boy, not very bright, but easy to recruit. The cook, hears a lot, but also talks a lot. And Dalmau Tren Trenkar's personal servant, very risky, but potentially very rewarding. Let's do the servant, yes. Oh, we're scheming to get a uh, spy against her. I thought we were gonna recruit her to... Well, that makes way more sense. <laughs> than to recruit a spy in the family against the family. 
But let's uh, try to get the servant. Seems the most useful. And, oh, he g gained cunning. Which is giving him even more intrigue. Up to 21. So he can have more than 20. Okay. Uh, Nastoris' venture is highly successful. The servant is very willing to become Nastoris' uh, grouse's eyes and heirs in Gamanka. I have despised Dalmau Trenkar for years, that filthy pig. Not only will I, s will I spy for you, but so will my wife. Oh, hey, an extra spy. Two for one. In addition, members of the Trenkar family think Nestori is just being, being kind and praise him for treating the servants with respect. Very nice. So, we have objectives. Oh, this is the end of the tutorial. I guess there's not more to it. So, me, we made an official visit and assigned an overseer. We need to make a trade deal and send a court, me send a court member, but we've already done that. Court someone, propose a marriage and arrange a marriage. And then a bunch of stuff. Oh, and we already did one of those things. I guess we're a little bit ahead of the curve on that one. But he wasn't really good for anything else, so. Oriel Grouse has traveled to Navar Navargamo. And is greeted by Tiberius Son Sonjador. Sonjador. Uh, he arranges a formal meeting and ask for, asks Oriol to name a topic they'd be willing to discuss during the meeting. So, I guess our good stuff is diplomacy and military. Oh, collective. Okay, so we want to do military because we're both good at, good at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is Warrior's Traditions point. This choice gives 8 points towards Warrior Tradition. It will go to the lowest level of Warrior's Tradition if you haven't selected a Warrior Tradition as your next tradition. Oh, okay. How do I select Traditions then? But, yeah, let's uh, state of defense. Uh, Tiberio agrees that military matters would make for a good topic of discussion. Although they have their differences over the rights of fiefdoms to defend themselves, the visit certainly wasn't in vain. Okay, um, guess that's fine. Are you a bard or something? Oh, that's just your crest. So, this is traditions. Oh, okay, so this is the tech tree. So, we got a couple of points in this. Okay, so wages do more happiness. Family member have 10, plus 10 to attack skill and 20 more health. Safety le level always plus one higher. That sounds pretty alright. First buy in each fiefdom gives plus one intrigue level. Each building upgrade is cheaper. Population growth needed to gain population 10% smaller. Let's, yeah, let's uh, stay with idealist. That sounds fine. And someone is old enough for a wardship. Suggest that a member of, a, of the other family take responsibility for educating your youth. This will lead to improved relations between your two families. The child also better improve their skills and under the wardship. Can I? Oh, I can switch here. So this is another fiefdom or county. So this is another count. I don't know if we're supposed to fight these guys or internally. What's better? But let's see if we can send them to like our Oh, you are You're the Viceroy. Send them to the Viceroy. That seems like a real good idea. Excellent. You go to the Viceroy. And we are running very low on vi on vine <laughs> on wine. So let's switch that to just crops. And now it's positive again. That's going to be fine. We are out of materials. I feel like we got to do something about that. So let's pull a farmer off. And... Oh, wait, no. I guess... Okay, we can't increase this. Can we build something to increase this? Upgrades marked with a check mark is already done. An upgrade with a hammer icon can be built immediately. 
And a lock cannot be built. Yeah. Professions upgrade that have various effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, higher wage unlock. I don't want that. I want more production. <laughs> So, we are using it for something. I don't know what we're using it for. Oh, it's probably crafters. So, if we switch you over to Mason, switch you back there, like so. Now this is going up. But we don't have any more luxuries. But that's alright. You're very balanced, so let's put you in the vineyard there we go now everything is positive we're not making livestock metal ores or the luxuries anymore but that's all right oh wait that's not what I meant um, what can we build here is this is it the same things Cross production at 50% for the construction duration, but what does it... Oh, it increases city size, which I guess is this. Is our max capacity, probably. Oh, that... Why do I keep trying to click there to build stuff? Vi wine pits. Uh, an extra slot. An effort level. Effort level sounds pretty good. Tread wheel cranes. Ooh, more production. That seems real good. But we need a lot of materials. But now we're actually getting some. Winemakers. Oh, we don't have a lot of stuff here. But yeah, this is just efficiency. So one of those is pretty good. And that is pretty good. But we need this first. That is much more expensive. Okay. So I think we're gonna set... Uh, save up for one of those. And Anoya Sabata has come to visit Akante. She is warmly welcomed as the Sabata family is on good terms with the Grouse. With the Grouse family. Uh, Ro Romina Grouse needs to make sure that she is comfortable. Romina shows Iona to the gardens. What kind of subject should she bring up should she bring up while they walk? So we want collective things and uh, Economy is real good for both. So is military. But I guess that's not an option. Or we can do military and... Which is pretty alright. But I guess... I guess um, the trade is pretty good. Because that's 29 total. Same as military. So let's go with that. That is going to give us... Peacemaker Traditions! Yay! That seems right up my alley. So, what can we do? Can we not do anything with my spice there? We have spice. Why can't we intrigue? The oh, because our guy is on our way home? Maybe? No? Doesn't say. And we have some... Some people in our house that are rivals. Okay. Don't know why we can't... Uh, oh, is it because we have a request? Sabata has sent Kara Sabata to Akante. Sabata wants her to join the court. Well, more people in the court is good. Ooh, that is a lot of intrigue. Are you here to spy on me? Could th uh, throw a feast to, have a, to be peacemakers. Which sounds pretty good. Is that... Uh, is that gonna... Yeah, that's gonna welcome her as well. Of course. So, let's do that. We do have some wine. We have a lot of grapes and a lot of... Not a lot of hides, actually. Or livestock. So, yeah. Let's throw a feast. And food and wine has uh, was served and the court minstrel played cheerful music. Carrara Sabata feels welcome. This strengthened the relationship between House, and, house Grouse and Sabata. Who's Zabata? I don't know who that is. Oh well. We're friendly with them now. And I just realized we should probably have some herdsmen. 
Because we have some bonuses to that. And uh, we don't need to in masonry right now. So let's put us over there. That's going to give us some livestock. And I don't know if this counts as food, but either way, we're going to do that. And we only grow one per day. Which isn't a lot. And... Oh, we can put people here to gain money, but so far we're not using a lot of money, so that's fine. Just gonna unpause and let some stuff happen. And, oh, can I go and... Why can't I intrigue? Well, oh, because this popped up again. Uh, okay, I gotta remember after this, we're gonna try to do some intrigue. Uh, Romina Grouse find finds out that the workers of the farmers have been selling some of the products in secret lining their own pockets oh how dare you no one else has noticed the loss but naturally it causes financial damage the workers of uh, offer romania a considerable bribe to turn turn a blind eye to the practice so take the money and everyone wins uh doesn't seem like a good good idea Oh wait, are we playing everyone? I figured we play as Oriol, but... Like, what... What bonus would it be for us to take the money here? I guess we're just gonna do... Ask the workers to stop the trade. I don't know if this is something that's happening right now, but... Let's go with the Ask the workers to stop the trade. And, oh, we got a lot of money. Forest production has changed to by 10%. Very nice. Okay. Can we... Now we can intrigue. Okay. I want a spy over here as well. You, go and recruit someone. Do you not have family or <laughs> what? Okay, this is just stuck here. Okay, well, we are gonna try to recruit some spies over there. And uh, I think I might just save and try to reload if this doesn't go away. Slow production, spread, spread propaganda in order to improve your own relationship with the other fiefdom. Or we can slander. Intentionally spread lies and rumors about the target's house to worsen your own relations with them. Let's do some propaganda maybe. But do we want them to be... To be friendly with us. Might just slow production a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll do it on the farmers. Try to starve them out a little bit. Okay. You know what? Uh, let's... There we go. Now it's gone. I had to save and uh, go back to the main menu and restart. But now it seems fine. And yeah. Right. Everything seems to be as it should be. And we're trying to to construct a building but we need a lot more materials for it so let's uh, let some time pass accumulate some oh yeah we finished your spy will begin to hire oh okay we just started I guess your spy will begin to hire some agitators so this discord among the workers or farmers unnecessary steps of bureaucracy will be suddenly added to day-to-day -day work small accidents will begin to happen here and there if successful production will speed in Production speed in farmers will drop by 30%. Oh, that is incredibly expensive. Well, okay. Apparently, doing spy stuff is very expensive. So, we're gonna need some income before we start doing stuff like that. And the story Gra Grouse has found three spy candidates in Bol Bolzalieri. According to his sources, all of them have expressed this this dissatisfaction with House Nueva. The candidates are the kitchen boy, the cook, and personal servant. Let's do servant again. That seems just fine. Let's get some better ones. And uh, in addition, in addition, members of Nueva family think the story is just being kind and praising for the people. We get two spies because we got the same event as last time. Excellent. You are very good at planting spies th uh, though. Oh, middle-aged. Happy birthday, Inya is now middle-aged. Uh, there will be destinations that are, 
that are happy and some which are sad. But each of these will build up better future than the past. Happy birthday! Good for you. So, do we just... Uh... Oh, you do not like us a lot. Oh, and we have a life event. Yama Grouse is lonely. He finds her contemporaries in court dull and hopes for a connection with her husband. Unfortunately, Nestori Grouse spends most of his time, spare time socializ socializing with male courtiers. He is always busy hunting, exercising or philosophizing. Yama understands that marriage doesn't obligate Nest Nestori Grouse to show any affection or spend time with her. The only option is to become interesting enough for him. Yama consider considers different options to attract his attention. Well, maybe you're not the right kind of person to uh, to attract his attention if he rather hang out, hangs out with the boys, if you know what I mean. But uh, we can't make him jealous. She is incredibly good. Oh, he is incredibly good at intrigue. So, never mind, that was the other way around. So, I guess uh, they're about equal in... In uh, oh, but he's terrible at diplomacy. So I guess doing comparing diplomacy is great, but it is intrigue as well. Oh, they're all diplomacy. Oh, never mind. Uh, I guess military then, because we're kind of equal. The others, he is way better than us, because both of them are intrigue. So let's do military and diplomacy. Uh, Yama Grouse con convinces Nestoria that she is a poor fencer and wants private lessons to avoid humiliation. Nestoria agrees to train her, but it turns out that he is an equally bad fencer and an even worse teacher. Okay, all that didn't turn out right. But let's uh, recruit some spies here as, here as well. I want spies everywhere. Uh, we're gonna do it to the, the leader. So that's gonna be great. And I wonder if we should... Oh, youth. I wonder if we should try to start a war with someone. And happy birthday. Uh, I, we're gonna figure out what that entails, but happy birthday. An echo has turned 10 and is now ready to become a squire. Life is a map of many routes. Some are easy to walk, while others are rocky to climb. You decide, decide which route you take every time you come to a crossing of choices. None are wrong, and that makes your life an adventure. Happy birthday, little boy. Did he get added to this? No? I guess not. At least I don't... Oh, wait, no, that's that's him. I thought that was a girl. Village market. Nestori travels through a village during its daily market. He notices some good deals. Maybe there is something, there is something to send back home. 100 crops for 70 gold or 50 material for 100 gold. That doesn't seem like a good deal. Just browse the, the wares. I'm not very interested in any of those. Although, we do need materials, but we're, we're getting materials. Although, we might not need that much food. But first, household maid. While spending time in Bolivari, Nestoria Grouse has been making inquiries and found a young maid who might make a good spy. The matter is extremely delicate. How should Nestoria Grouse proceed with the recruitment? Well, probably with... Uh, with some intrigue. So we're just going to be kind to her. And uh, do the idealist traditions. And the story befriending the maid carefully. He listens to her concern and gives her a small amount of... I didn't give her any money. How dare you. Uh, to send to her poor mother. But make sure that they are never seen together. The story wins the maid's trust. And promises be in the story's eyes and ears in Bolivari. Excellent. Got another spy. So, how do we start a war? The war of humiliate needs needs relations. Must be a count. If we want to vassalize. Get a war on claim title. We need very low relations. Must have a claim to the title. Must have lower rank. Get a war to force tax break races. Conspire. And demand support. So, can we not uh, conquer a barony? I 
guess not. Oh, uh, I guess we have to kind of attack a duke then. So that would be claim title. Yeah, so if we were to start a war, we must decrease relations and we need to have a claim. I guess we can attack our duke or count. I guess count would probably be easier than a duke. So I guess it would be attacking you. Or we just attack these guys because we hate them and humiliate them. Because we can't vassalize them. And this is going real slowly. We have a little bit in a couple of these, but we're gonna continue with Idealist. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's get some uh, spy in there against you. See if we can get a a what you call it, a uh, a claim, and maybe become a d d or a count. Right now, it doesn't seem like we would be in any kind of position to attack them, but we're gonna see what it takes to at least get to the point to start a war. Uh, Nestora Grouse has find, found three spy candidates in Novogramo. It's the same ones again. So I guess let's keep doing the servants. Which, not like that, <laughs> of course. Let's uh, try to recruit the servants. Uh, it's successful. We got, this, got the wife again. Because we always get the wife. So, oh, we can attack trade route. A spy using bandits can rob trade routes. This will not just grant some resources, but will impact the relations of the trading partners and, la and the landowners where the attack took place. Oh! Keep hitting escape to get out of that. Shared pleasures. Uh, Romina is strolling in the streets of Acante when she overhears excited laughter nearby. She searches for the source and ends up in a remote garden. As she walks looking Side to side, she notices blankets and wineskins on the ground. Walking a little further, she see sees a naked woman giggling with a group of others engaged in an orgy. Oh, this got... This got a lot mature than it was before. So, we can try to join them. Have some fun. Uh, get some idealist points. Stay hidden and watch. <laughs> Perv. Uh, walk away unnoticed and talk with them. So, I mean, this sounds fun. Why wouldn't we join in? Let's have some fun. And we become satisfied, but... Oh, wait, that's not Oriole. I was wondering where our sexy legs went, but no, no, she's satisfied. That sounds great. Uh, Romani asks if she can join the fun. People giggle and moan, pulling her in and kissing and caressing her all over. Hours fly- Hours? Damn, there's no stamina on those people. Hours fly by as she feels ultimate satisfaction from all the attention and acceptance, feeling fantastic. When all the participants are ready, they leave to continue with their day. I feel like they should become very sore after hours. That just- that just sounds uncomfortable. But, what were we gonna build? Was it the vi vine pits? No, we don't need more slots. Wasn't the mason? Wasn't the winemakers? For this. Oh, we're still not there. I looked at the wine. But I think it was this that we were looking at. Although, do we need that much more wine? This is just tempting because I like the numbers on that. We're growing very slowly. Just one per day. Jesus. Could really do something about that. That's pretty good. But yeah, I think we're still gonna go with this. Because we're always probably always gonna have at least one person here just making wine. So we're gonna have lots of it. We can probably sell it in trade. 
Oh, but... Probably don't need this much food, though. So, let's uh, get some... My oh, actually, let's get some money going. That is gonna cost us some food, that's fine. And you're not happy, but that's fine. I think that's all right. Yeah. You can also order workers to work harder. Oh, but that's just miners. I don't think we have that unlocked on anywhere else. So if we start mining, then absolutely we'll uh, we'll start whipping him. But that's fine. Some gold is always useful in these kinds of games. So let's get to the wine there we go perfect winemaker make me more wine oh that's how you do it there we go so we're just gonna wait for this to finish but let's attack a trade route it's gonna give us some ores which isn't bad that's a lot of grapes that's a lot of gold yeah go for that one that is an excellent trade attack target. Now I kind of wish I took the intrigue family, because I just wanna, I just wanna attack all of the trade routes here. That's a lot of crops. That's a, well, not that much metal ore, and that's not a lot of stuff, but that's a lot of crops. Let's attack that. And let's attack this trader. Oh, there they have a lot of trade. We should probably get some trade. That's pretty good. All of these are pretty lame, but that's pretty good. Let's do that one. And let's see how that works. In the meanwhile, let's... Uh... Okay, so we have very good wine stuff, but these guys don't. Because they're in the mountains and steppes. So let's uh, see if we can trade with this count. Oh, uh, trading is an important part of life in Caldaria. It is not exactly a mercantile society anymore here in Caldaria. It is, uh, it is better to create a surplus of product and trade it away for resources you don't produce yourself. With trade there is multiple things that impact the trade. Valuation of the resource, need for resources being traded and relations between the parties and the personality of the trading partner. Uh, here on the left you can see the resources you have for sale, yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponents agree on trade or not, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. You want wine, don't you? Yeah, you definitely want wine. That is a lot of potential money for a hundred wine, which, why isn't our wine grow? Right, before, because we're upgrading. Right, 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 right. right. So, we could... Probably do materials. They have a lot of materials. We don't have any horse income though. So that might be good. And materials is pretty cheap actually. So. Okay, this is way more valuable. And how many trips? Um. Six? I, I don't know what this means, just it takes longer time. I guess it's more um, susceptible to robbers if we do just one big. Let's, let's do... Let's do six, that's fine. And we'll... Uh, oh wait, we want someone who is really good with economics, I assume. Because, well, I guess uh, a lot of them are... Well, you got 50. But let's send you. You got things to do. Has plans for materials. Okay, if we... Oh, okay. Um, I guess not materials then. How about you just pay me? Empty cars of the 10 delivers per day. Okay, well, let's... three trips then 
You can probably do a little bit more and a little... Whoa, that is... Uh, would like a longer deal for that. Alright. Oh, you wanted more. Well, let's... Uh, what do you mean, longer deal? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, let's pull that down a little bit. Don't know what they mean with longer deal, but... Whatever. This seems... Good. Let's, uh, let's send that. 95 for 5 or almost 600 gold seems really good. So, yeah, that's very lucrative. Your spy will try to find some woodland, some woodland robbers to ambush house Trinkar's trade caravan. Oh, we can't afford that. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it's gonna be super expensive, but this lady, she's gonna, or yeah, Countess, she's gonna bankroll our highway robberies. And the story grounds negotiate a trade deal with Venera Vi Vinedo, but something seems off. Venera is rushing the negotiations and is even offering more wares than negotiated if the deal is sealed immediately. So that would be comparing economics. Take the offer, no question. Comparing intrigue. That seems real good. It's gonna give us Peacemaker, and we're likely gonna succeed on this because, well, 21 versus 1, so. The story got more goods than negotiated and finds nothing suspicious about it. Excellent! So, that's gonna be lots of gold. And trade isn't part of that right now. So, I guess we're gonna see a trade route go back and forth. Building bonds. Tadeo's servant informs him that. Krara Sabata has business in town and she would like to meet she would like to meet. Tadeo thinks that this would be a perfect opportunity to build bonds. How would Tadeo proceed to do that? Should he lavish Kra Krarara <laughs> with gifts, challenge her with a night's partying or just spend some quality time together? Um oh tavern is military? Okay. Is it combined or no it's comparing. Average relationship? Well, that's not bad. And friendship status. They do like each other. So, take them to the park, park for a conversation. And they both like it. Excellent. So, how far off are we on the building? How long is this gonna take? 40%. Okay. That seems fine. And a wedding. How's... Borgello is organizing a wedding between Davin Borgello and Nomiki Espalta in Al Alverca province. You are invited to send a member of your house to take part in the celebration. Well, we should definitely do that then. Um, who's an echo? You're an echo. Oh, can you... No, you can't do stuff like that yet. But I guess we can uh, send you to a wedding. Unless you have terrible stats. Well, not the worst. So send... Oh, I can't even... Okay. Well, we'll send someone. And we'll send someone. That's fine. Romania Grouse is unmarried. I guess we want someone good then. You're not terrible. You're pretty good. Got some stuff we're lacking because we do have good diplomacy people. And let's go with that one. That seems good enough and it's not someone we're planning to fight. We got a deficit of wine but that is perfectly fine. And Eneko still doesn't have a task, but I don't know what to do with him, so <laughs> that's gonna have to be alright. And now I think this calculates the trade. Maybe. 
Yeah, it's gonna, because uh, we only have 1.3, and it's 3.7 per day with the trade. Yeah, okay. Because I, I just saw the lump sum there, so no, that's not daily, but I guess the below the lump sum it's 3.7. So, perfect. Enya Grouse gazes over the fiefdom and feels empty. What is the purpose of, civil of us cultivating and fighting over this paradise? She can't even concentrate on the daily matter and is desperate to ease her mind. Who should Inya reach for help from? So she's good at intrigue. Eh, let's go philosopher. It's fine. Lost trait fickle. Oh, that's a terrible trait, which she gets confident. So she just got better. Excellent. But now we have lots of no, I don't want to trade with you. I want to... I want to intrigue your trade. Um, can I attack official visits? That's funny. But none of those were very good. Do you still have any good trade? Oh, that's still pretty good. So we'll do that one. And we'll spend 200 gold for that. That'll get most of that money back if we succeed uh, plus a bunch of crops oh it's not it's not like super likely but i want to try it anyway the woodland robbers that were hired to attack the trade never made it back alive ah bummer did we not pay if they die i think we don't pay if they don't die or if they die which, I guess, makes sense if we don't pay advance. So, we can try that again. I mean, it's just a couple of grapes and less money back, but... <laughs> I don't like these guys and I would like to kill them, but... Oh, it's even less likely now. But... But... If we fail, we don't have to pay them anyway, so... Let's do it! Yeah, there we go! The woodland robbers returns triumphant and disclose the location of the hidden trade wagons. There were no casualties. Your spy must now lay low for now, as House Trenkar will surely try to find out who attacked them. Excellent! So, do you have anything good? But I feel like if we don't wanna... Besides trying to like sabotage for our neighbors, I would like to try to get profits on these. So who else do we have spies in? Oh, I guess the little red things below these are the spies. Oh, we have a spy back here as well. No, we don't. Okay, well... Why can't we send our... Oh, because he's already doing stuff. Never mind. Okay. So we don't have anyone on farming because everyone is out doing stuff. Okay, I guess just uh, let uh, stuff happen, and we'll uh, we'll wait for people to come back home. I mean, most things are positive, like heavily positive, except for the crops. But we have plenty of crops, and we could probably trade for some crops. But a beautiful night treats the listeners to a warm winds and mesmerizing starry skies. Uh, okay. A beautiful night treats, uh, treats listeners to warm winds and mesmerizing starry skies, casts shimmering lights, making the gathering magical. Uh, Romina participates in this event at the request of her family to represent House Grouse and to meet Olier. While listening to poems about the miseries of life, she notices Olier looking in her direction and smiling invitingly. Should she take a step fur further and introduce herself to Olivier or Olier? I mean, why not, I suppose? And we are peacekeep peacemakers, so yeah, let's uh, let's talk to them. Uh, Romina subtly tries to make a good impression to Olier during their conversation. She changes the subject completely and it suddenly seems like she has lost interest in Olier. Romina tries again, but Olier looks disappointed, making an excuse to move to another side of the table. Hmm. Lost satisfied. Oh no. Well, 
I guess, uh, if anything, it's gonna bring you down from after an orgy. I guess being shot down by some rando is gonna do that just fine. <laughs> uh, you have co successfully completed the initial growth of your fiefdom and of your own power. This is just the first step in your path to prominence. Your objective unlocked. Excellent. We need to send a court member. Uh, what do you mean send a court member? But there was some upgrade we could do. Oh, because we unlocked and we can do this now. So, taverns, increase the slots, city size and wage level. Sounds alright, but I don't think that's something we should do right now. And is it because you're too young? I suppose it is. And this, yeah, this is going real slow. So... I guess what we could do... Diplomacy. Send a court member, I guess. And I can't send him. Oh, that actually worked. <laughs> I, I was just fiddling around and figured I'd drop him there and see what happens. But what does that actually do? I have no idea what that does, but maybe that was what I was supposed to do. I don't know. Oh, our spot, spy has been caught. Which, which spy was that? Trenkar. House Trenkar has found the people responsible for ambushing... Oh, I guess that was the people in the north. They have been sentenced to death by hanging in chains. We have lost a spy and they surely know that the order came from us. This could have serious repercussion. They have right to demand compensation. Well, I'm not gonna give you shit. We're instead gonna recruit more spies. Although now we don't have any good spy... Well, actually, you're, you're fine. There we go send you and are you are you just trading yeah you became a uh, just a trader so you're gonna spend most of this year year just trading okay so they want to buy some uh, livestock from me in exchange for materials and metal ore sounds actually pretty decent Oh, but it is a train car. Hmm. So, House Trenkar wants to initiate trade with House Grouse. Aina Trenkar has arrived at Akante to propose a, a trade deal to Yama. She thinks the deal seems fair for both houses. 2% greed. Don't know what that means. I'm guessing it's worse for us than it is for them. Yeah. Ours are more value than theirs. Gonna negotiate this deal. Oh, it's it's its own little screen. Neat. Uh, negotiations negotiations are led by these characters. Yeah, yeah. Topics and uh, pay ten percent less, receive more resources. Yeah, I want more resources. Like that, I guess. Uh, companions are your entourage for, uh, from highly regarded occupation, each bringing their viewpoints to the matter at hand. Every companion has four different stats. Uh, different stats. Oh, attack, health, composure, and... Is this some kind of combat thing? <laughs> Companion limit. Here are the numbers of companions you can have. Okay, we can have five. Each companion belongs to one of these classes. All right. So, is this like level? Well, you seem real good. You seem pretty good. We have military and diplomacy. Gonna need a scoundrel and a trader. So, or accountant, I guess. Ready for a conflict. Yeah, go for it. Oh, right. Uh, you as well. I forgot you can have five. I thought it was uh, one of each, but no, no, no. This is good. Confirm that. Oh, shit. It is a, it is combat. <laughs> this is neat. 
Um, here are the negotiation fields. Each of them has a different topic. Toggles auto move for all friendly units. Retreat all friendly units back to reserve. Hover any of the F icons. Where's the F icons? Oh, there they are. Okay, and uh, this is receive more. So this is what we want to focus. But if we can get some here, that would be okay as well. Uh, your units begin begin the negotiations from their own starting nodes. The aim of the negotiations is to conquer the opponent's starting nodes. The negotiations begins with assigning your units to the starting nodes. Okay. Once your units are on the start nodes, you may command them to move to any other node on the negotiation field. Characters and higher tier companions may have special abilities they can use during the negotiation. Oh, this is getting real complicated. The negotiations happen in real time and they begin as you click the ready button. Okay, so can I... Yeah, okay. I can... Move... Move our guys to position so I don't know if it matters but we're gonna do it like that and I guess we're ready so you can pause the negotiation at any po any point by pressing space negotiation happening in real time yeah so let's no move there move there move there Move there and move there. We'll, I guess we'll put up a defense there. No oh, wait, actually, chill there a little bit. Oh, you're, you need to get out of there. Retreat. And we're doing good there though. Okay, no wait, don't retreat all the way there. Dang it. Okay, I guess continue to retreat and get back in there. You need to heal though. Let's move you over there. That's good. Let's move you there. We can send you back there. Because we're pretty alright here now. Capture that. We can probably deal with that. Move you there. Fight, you scoundrel. But we're capturing all of this at the very least. So that's good. You get... No, wait. Dang it. Oh, disable move. There we go. That's Dang it. That's not what I meant. Crap. Yeah. Yeah, we lost that. Okay. I really bungled that. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Okay. So, definitely lost that. And that was my fault. So, that's gonna cost us, but it's not actually that big of a deal. Being accused... Dalmau Trenkar has arrived to your court and formally accuses House Grice of being guilty of ambushing a caravan. Dalmau presents the evidence he has, been, uh, he has gathered. We know that you are guilty. As compensation, House Trenkar demands that House Grouse should send them the customary compensation paid over three years period. Throw them out. There we go. Now we're getting some hostility here. No, wait. That's, that's us. Right, we can't send spies. And right, 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 right. But you don't have a job now. And oh, actually, we have been going for a pretty long time now. So I think we're gonna end this here. But so far, it's pretty fun. Uh, it is still in early access. So there's probably a lot of stuff that's gonna be added. And uh, I think we're just gonna, this was mostly just to show it off for now, so um, 
unless people like really like this uh, this uh, game and want to see more then I might make more in the future but for now this is just gonna be a one-off but yeah it's pretty fun it's pretty neat and I didn't expect there to be some kind of negotiation battle that obviously wasn't very good at <laughs> and I've seen some screenshots and uh, in trailer in the trailer there was something like that so I think it's about the same thing when you fight battles but I don't think there's gonna be a lot of warring in this game because uh, you can't really attack this guy except for like humiliation and I don't know if there's like a huge point for us to do that it's more if we want to expand we gotta go up to count or duke or something like that so I think you rather just want to sabotage and uh, trade and just try to like out macro your enemies and just uh, sabotage for them and stuff like that so I don't know if there's a lot of fighting but you can we can definitely like sabotage a lot for them by doing some hum humiliation war but I don't know how much you get from it maybe you get some good stuff maybe you can loot them or something but Anyway, I, I don't know. <laughs> I might play this a little bit more off camera because it is pretty fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this and uh, tell me what you think about it. It is uh, it is in early access right now and I haven't been paid, like I haven't been sponsored to do this, but I did get uh, the game uh, sent to me from the developers. So thanks a lot for that. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye-bye.